symbolic. Um, it's not a time where uh, words count for a lot. Actions and behaviors count for far, far more, right? So um, I'll do the Shackleton example again. Um, Shackleton makes sure that um, he's got, he and the officer corps have the worst sleeping bags and the best are all with the folks. He doesn't have to spend a lot of time pointing that out to people. They know it. He doesn't make a big deal out of it. They just know it, right? In the, uh, in the American cavalry, back when they actually had horses, there was a saying that when uh, feed your horses, feed your men, feed yourself, right? That when you're on the move in a cavalry unit, the thing that you need to do is take care of the horses. As an officer, you need to tend to your, you, you need to tend to your command, and then you need to tend to yourself. Right? The symbolic action of saying, we're all in the same boat, and then you take a break, or uh, we're going to, uh, everybody's going everybody's to ante up here, you start. Right? And I can tell you from the last time through this with this organization, um, where you had the squeeze uh, probably 10 years ago or so. Uh, and any conversation in the senior group that talked about anything that had to do with taking things away, they started with themselves. And that's exactly the place you want to start, right? Because you can talk all you want at whatever level in the organization about, hey, we're all in the same boat. Uh, you got my gelato ready, you know? I mean, it doesn't, it, what's the same about the boat, right? The boat has got, I can't just say that to you. I've got to be able to actually show you that as a leader, that at whatever level, I'm taking, the, I'm taking the first hit here, right? I'm involved in this, the symbolic action. Word, 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 talk to the hand. It's about what you do, right? It's about what you do. And all the time, if you want to think, ask yourself this question, if you wanted to convey that you're committed to the people who report to you, think about how you communicate if you couldn't talk. Now, I'm not arguing to give up the English language, right? In fact, if you do, you'll cause a lot of consternation to the people that are around you, right? But think, how would I demonstrate it if I couldn't say anything, right? Because that's what's particularly important in hard times. People tune in to what people are doing, right? What are you 